Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. I am going to show you how I optimized my life in the past few years. If you haven't seen this channel yet, I have two businesses, I have two small kids, I have three YouTube channels, I have an Instagram, I have uh, two TikToks, and uh, I have a Telegram channel and a course. So I do a lot of things. And the thing is, for me, it is really necessary that all of my information is arranged in a certain manner so I can access it at any time. Today I'm gonna to show you how I organize my life, my business, my everything with Notion, and I'm gonna show you how you can do the same. But let me ask you one question first. Have you ever been in a situation when somebody recommended you a movie or a TV show and it's Saturday night and you're like, okay, let me watch that movie. And then you start looking through your notes and you can't really find that movie. So the time that you set aside for watching a movie is spent on looking for what exactly to watch. Like this has been our problem with my husband for a while. The same with books. Sometimes we'll be like, oh, somebody recommended this book, but I don't remember who recommended this book. Maybe I am no longer interested in that person's insights. Should I read it? Should I not? And I have similar problems as a creator. I have similar problems as a mom, as a person who loves to fly business class, but doesn't like paying thousands of dollars for the tickets. So I decided to organize everything in Notion. Let me show you what it looks like. Now, first of all, let's tackle our movies and books. So what I like about this part of my notion is that if I click taxi driver, right? So I give it a category. Then if I started watching it, I could choose start it all completed. And uh, will I recommend it to my friends? Because sometimes we like, can you recommend books or movies? And I will be like, yes, but let me remember what I like the most. So this really helps. And also I try to write down who recommended that particular movie just because Sometimes I really care about the person and I really care about their lifestyle. So I really want to see everything they recommended. And sometimes it's just a random person. So, you know, priorities. And here you can see what I've completed already, right? TV shows, whether I'm going to recommend them like, oh, can you recommend a TV show? Yes, please. Office, Bad Blood, Better Call Saul, t uh, Tidying Up. Please watch them movies here. Here are the ones that I would recommend. And I am working on this table daily. This one I started recently, but it's already filling up because I get so many recommendations. And yes, I haven't watched Godfather yet. I know I'm so bad at watching the classics. Now, another thing that I highly, highly recommend to everyone. This is my speaker profile. Again, you can have a personal website that you update. Uh, you can use your LinkedIn. But the thing is, everyone is so different. And I love using Notion to create my speaker profile. So I have all of the views here. I have information about my channels. I have information about my speaking engagements. I have a link to my headshots and I have a link to press. And again, when I have a speaking engagement, people ask me like, Marina, can you send me your headshots? Can you send me some press about you? There we go. There is this page that they can use right away. As I mentioned, I use Notion for my personal things and also for my business. And my whole team uses Notion to plan projects that we're working on. And we have dedicated pages for different teams. We have a dedicated page for marketing, for product, for management. Let's take a look at our product management page. In my school, we have different courses. We have short videos course, we have marketing course. And the thing is with courses, we reproduce them all the time. So we track the production progress with the page called projects. So here we have marketing batch two, it's in progress. We're gonna finish it soon. We're still working on things inside the batch. Marketing number one is done. Short videos, we are filming classes. Short videos in Russian is almost done. So these are basically projects that are going on inside my school and it's really great to track them. Everything is easily accessible and everyone knows what they're responsible for. In the active view of this database, we see everything we've seen in the board view. Plus, we also have a task list for each of the projects. So we have all the tasks here. Um, my team and I speak Russian, so we mix languages here like crazy. But we have all of the tasks here and everyone knows what they're responsible for. What I love about Notion is that it eliminates the need for all of the other tools like Asana, Google Docs, or anything similar. You can manage everything inside Notion. You might have guessed this video is sponsored by Notion and they're one of my favorite brand deals just because I don't really have to learn anything. This is the tool that we use every day for all of my projects. Whether you're building a product roadmap, 
Spring Plan, Marketing Campaign, Passion Project, Notion consolidates all of your projects into one connected workspace, allowing you to accomplish more with fewer tools. And if your business requires apps like Figma, Slack, or GitHub, you can integrate them with Notion. Notion recently introduced some exciting features like AI Autofill. This tool allows you to instantly summarize any project or task. So basically they summarize everything you have inside the page so you don't have to look through everything. And then if you need more details, you go inside. But if you just need a glimpse of what's going on, the AI is gonna create that summary for you. And what's more exciting, it's all automated. So whenever you change something inside the project, the AI will automatically track the changes and create a new summary for you. And of course, with AI, you can draft, create project plans, translate information, create outlines and more. A couple of tips from me. If you feel like you really want to start using Notion, there is no need to instantly move everything to this platform. Take small steps. Let me show you what I started with. I'm not going to show you the actual planner. I'm going to show you the template for it. Oops, no, this is the actual planner. <laughs> So I'm, I actually started with this weekly planner that I think I featured back in 2021. Uh, so I have uh, goals here, like my main goals that I would write down. I have outstanding major tasks and I will have outstanding major tasks that are in burner, uh, things I might do if I have time. And here I would write down most important tasks for the day, uh, which are like, the, these are more business related. These are social media related tasks. Start with this planner. I'm gonna leave you this template so you can just copy paste it. It's completely free. So you can start with that and then slowly, gradually move everything there or whatever you wanna move there, right? Uh, we started with that, then I asked my team to create my YouTube planner here, you know, for each channel. We have a list of videos for every channel, uh, and then my school's team gradually moved, and then you have everything in one place. But it doesn't have to happen like this, because I know it's a lot of information. And uh, the second thing, you don't have to actually build a lot of things, like the template that I'm giving you, you can just copy paste it, and Notion has a lot of templates that you can use, and people create those templates, so you can find a template for anything these days, plan a trip, best restaurants to visit, organize your financial life, almost everything has a template now. And I highly recommend starting uh, to use Notion projects, especially if you have teams. You can begin for free and unlock the power of AI that I mentioned for $10 a month. The link will be down in the description box. Now let's move on to my assistance page. So there is some private information. I start with like documents and login and passwords that I give to my assistant. Uh, I'm not going to show you that part. But what you see here are the tasks. As a mom, I want to remember things that I need to do regularly. And as a person who outsources things to my assistant, I don't want to go on and explain every new assistant what they're supposed to do. And I have a new assistant almost every year, so um, I try to keep it automated. So we have things that they're going to do regularly. TikTok posting, email inbox, coffee, water. Then something that's in progress, right? Lily's birthday, we just had it. And there is all the information related to Lily's birthday. Who? Are, okay, we're not going to show it. Sorry, there are pri private information about guests. But who's coming? Uh, where are we going to get the cake? And because information about Lily's birthday is now in my Notion. Next year, if I, have, if I have a new assistant, she comes in and she's going to see everything from last year. And I will tell her, like, I want the same experience as last year. And she will have the information about somebody who did our cake. She will have the information about somebody who did our entertainment, everything. It's the same for everything. I'm looking for a music school for my daughter. Uh, we need an insurance. We need to plan our trip to Europe. And then once it's done, it goes either to done if it's like completely done, like, OK, we're not going to. Uh, I, I lost my earrings when flying to Switzerland. And uh, we have the information here, like what happened, uh, who we called, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we're not going to find them. This will just go into the done section. But Lily's birthday is going to go to the future reference because Lily's going to have a lot more birthdays. This is the way it works. Oh, my God, guys. Game changing, life changing, organizes everything. No need to explain the same things over and over again. Another thing to look at, we have services page where we organize, for example, I went to Cannes and uh, I met a couple of photographers there and I also worked with a couple of makeup artists. The next time I'm going to go there, of course, I'm going to forget who those people were because there were three photographers, three makeup artists. We have a specific Notion page for every location where I went and useful contacts there. 
or okay restaurants and hotels are super basic but like people who you need to meet there maybe creators who live there who we could potentially collab with and of course as a creator i have so many references i have so many ideas i have so many b-rolls they need to be organized and of course we organize all of that with notion as well because if we have a new member of the team they're going to check out what's going on what b-rolls we have maybe b-rolls with kids b-rolls of me eating b-rolls of me putting on makeup this is all super useful for the team another cool thing that we started organizing on notion recently are my miles because I love collecting miles. But the thing is, uh, there are so many airline apps. I haven't found a startup that would organize everything in one place. So for example, I want to fly to Europe this summer. And there are so many routes that I could take. I could go to Munich, I could go to Zurich, I could go to uh, Rome. There are so many direct flights from San Francisco. And uh, we try to store information about miles on Notion as well. So I could go and see, oh, okay, I have 200,000 United miles. I, I should probably look at routes that United offers or maybe I have 200,000 Lufthansa miles. And like, instead of logging into every single app or like some airline issued a credit, like because the screen was not working, so they gave me $200, okay, that's another airline. So organizing information really saves you time, really saves you money really helps your team function. That was a quick intro of how I organize my life with Notion. Hopefully you got inspired and uh, hopefully you will start using Notion. The link will be down below. The link to my template will be down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much Notion for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. I will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I share my day-to-day -day life in California. Bye-bye and see you soon.